What's up folks, welcome back, I'm Daily Fix, and we continue with Star Trek New Horizons. Now before I get started, I had a absolute scare today. Because the game crashed the second after launching, uh, I had to roll back to a previous version in 3.0.2. Uh, I kind of hope that it will be resolved soon because, oh my, I really had a scare that I don't want to start a series without the possibility of us actually finishing it. So we recently had the media going, like the start of the expense, and it looks like we need to send a science ship over here. Also, let's go send you guys back on the return. Do I have a scientist nearby that's not doing anything? Something's idle. One, two, three, four. I could build another one. That's actually not a bad idea. What we will do is I'll get a scientist that is going to assist in the research on, uh, on our own sector. And we'll probably have to get a lot of scientists in the future. So, um... Before we actually do something else, I want to ask you one thing. Don't forget to hit that like button, guys. It really helps out my channel. And thank you all so much once again for all of those who actually came back for this series. It's, it's been great seeing this. Absolutely. So, without further ado, I, I know the XP is going down. I did, I believe, assign an envoy here to the League of Planets. I like the name already. Andorian Empire Tellarites. Uh, we are trying. Always walk cautiously under the They ice. are now friendly. They're getting very close at positive relations. Um, yeah, excellent relations is the one that we need to ask them to join. I believe we can ask them to join. Invite into a coalition. Oh, that's going to be bad. The Vulcans are... Your ships again. are small Let's and take unimpressive. A look. Mm. Okay, so they are not willing to go there just yet. It's kind of annoying that we don't get any influence. I'm kind of hoping that we will get factions shortly. Okay, let's go. Let's speed up the game. I might as well pause here and then. And we need to change this. We need a planet. Food from John. This is such a bad planet. I, I don't want it. I really don't. And Cyrus is now done. Uh, let's go build that up. And I want to build a... Did I already queue up a colonization ship? It does not appear to be so. So let's get humans and we'll start with that ship as... Oh, never mind. There is a colonization ship. I had a feeling that we had one. Why is it not showing up here? Oh, of course, there it is. Uh, Starbase. Let's go cancel that. And we are building the fusion reactors to get above a zero. Now, once we get an additional Starbase, this will change because we're going to make it anchoring. And in the future, we also need a Starbase that will go for trade value. Uh, timed project is this one. So I think there's the science ship that's not doing anything. Where are you? You're over there. Uh, do we have... No, we don't have it yet. Go here, survey that. And I then want you to go... Survey in this uh, weird-ass direction. Go ahead. Do whatever you must. And the new science ship is going to be done right now let's take a look where we can go should we go and take jonathan archer yet i think so let's get jonathan archer and he will be the scientist researching the project in this system and as soon as we get the um the enterprise we uh, we can get him towards his uh, vessel there we go development colony mars can't do this decision yet it's grayed out as you can see so We'll have to wait until that actually happens. Starting the first contact with a new species. Where is that? Over there. Interesting. Is it interesting? I have a slim idea on who it might be. Uh, we have the Orions here, but there, there's another one. Another group. Oh, those annoying ones. 
speaking riddles. I think that's those. Alien probe. Engineering teams have successfully analyzed the wreckage of the alien probe. Uh, certain quantum markers of the whole materials indicate composure to a class of subspace anomalies frequent to the delphinic expanse, a turbulent region uh, coreward. Vessel's damaged computer core reveals almost nothing short of the names of the alien race, the Zindi. Determined to prevent future incursions to a united Earth space, the Admiralty has proposed a mission into the, Delph uh, the Delphic Expanse to gain additional intelligence. Oh, okay, so there is going to be a new mission. Uh, select the mission expedition and it has to be Jonathan Archer. It has to be. There's no one else who's going... You are not colonizing this, are you? No, 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 no. Oh, hell no. Hell no, you're colonizing that. Get out of the way there. Uh, let's go here, research this project. First contact. Uh, good. I Do I have a free one? I don't currently, so we'll cancel that for now. Uh, we're still Your ships trying to get these guys up and running for us. I do think the Starbase will help us uh, once we actually are able to get more ships. Uh, it will definitely be in our favor. We got the regional capital, which is absolutely nice. It will help us with enmities and stuff like that. Diplomacy or st slavery, a rehabilitation or a re-education. Let's go with the uh, rehabilitation and re-education. Do you need to make... He, could... is an honor he is almost you. really loving us. So if they would stop being rivals, I would really, would really appreciate that. But I'm thinking it might have to wait until the Vulcans stop being so damn annoying. Okay, you go ahead, build mining stations. You get over here and call a nice springboard while we upgrade this starbase to level 1 in two years' time. And we'll do something about our economy, because this is absolutely dragging the rest down. So, the Captain Jonathan Archer has been selected to lead the mission... Oh, let's pause there. ...lead to the mission into the Dauphinic Expanse to gather ex, uh, intelligence on the Zindi. Starfleet has gone a, into great depth. Uh, wow. And here were some people saying that my English reading approved, uh, or improved. Starfleet has gone into great lengths to accelerate the construction of its uh, most advanced starship, the Enterprise, for Jun van Archer, to command for the duration of the expedition, where contact with Earth is except, uh, expected to be limited. With the new Warp 5 engine, advanced defense systems, and a contingent of soldiers from the Military Assault Command Operations, Marco, the Enterprise is the United Earth's best hope for survival. The flagship will be unavailable for the construction while Jonathan Archer's is... Really now? Okay, so that, that is quite awkward there. Um, it gave us some... Grab or some some insight into the Enterprise, but apparently we're not building it. Perhaps it's going to be built while we explore the Delphinic Expanse, of course, over into this direction. Well, he is really there? Are you kidding me? No, it's you. Why are you there? We, we, someone else is doing the mission hunt. Come, come back. Come back, please. You don't need to be there. Actually, it's probably my fault. I'm, I'm sending them into regions where I think I can meet friendly species. I hope so, though. Kind of horrible if they, if they all die. Uh, I do want to upgrade this fleet, but I don't want to do it right now. That makes a lot of sense to you. Uh, all of my ships, except for this one, Jonathan Archer, is now gone. Let's recruit a new one. And... You are busy surveying. But he is level 5, so he's not that bad. He's 5 of 5, so he is just not gaining any more experience, which is fine. Let's go grab this one. You, go ahead. And I want you to assist 
the research on uh, the Sol system. Uh, the Sol uh, planet, our own planet, Earth. Get rid of that. Actually, should I have gone rid of that? Well, maybe. Not sure yet. We'll get there. Eventually. If we can get these two systems, that would be nice. If we, uh, we can get a tiny, tiny bit more... Uh, research from that. After weeks of fruitless searching, the expanse, Captain Jonathan Archer has found its first clue. The owner of a terrillium mining station claims to employers in the laborer and would be willing to arrange a meeting for a price. One of the Zindi workers' fingers is provided as evidence. An unfortunate mining accident, apparently. Which provokes, uh, which, uh, provokes more questions. The organic residue from the probe that detect Earth shares a number of genetic markers in common with those from the finger. However, they, uh, um, they appear to be from separate... Wow. However, they appear to be from separate through related species. Okay, okay. I felt that was weird, but apparently it's a normal sentence, but not for me. The Zindi may not have been, a, may not be a single species. Confuses the investigation. Okay, so I will buy the worker, and the mining facility admin appears to be surprised that we are willing to pay the price. So let's go. Let's continue on with our mission. Um, those are being constructed, that is nice, and I want you to go and move over there, because that is where our next uh, expansion is going to be, then we'll be bordering the Romulans. There we go, the expanse again. We have arrived at the coordinates of the Zindi home system, however, no inhabitable worlds can be detected. Instead, a enormous asteroid field fills the star's inhabitable zone. Using pr um, predictive mod uh, modeling... The science officer is able to confirm that the asteroid field come, uh, came from a single world between 150 and 200 years ago. Materials analyzing from the field indicates wow, the presence of advanced components that indicates the presence of warp-faring culture. If this is the Zindi homeworld, it has been broken for a long time. Well, that's kind of sad. That's a sad story. I don't like that. Let's see. Are we... Yeah, we're building over there. 18%. Yeah, that's, that's going to take a long time. What do we have over here? So we got ourselves the operation systems. And we can now go to the NX class, which is actually... There's the San Francisco shipyard as well. That is so cool. Let's go for it. I see no reason not to do that. And continue. Still losing experience here? Are we the only one actually... Okay, that's it. Uh, if we're the only one... Then there is almost no need to continue with that. Uh, we do have another... That we could use. So you will go there. Forget it. If, if, if the Vulcans, they don't care, so why would we? Uh, research this one. Get rid of that. I kind of hope that we can disable that message, though. Uh, you. Anything. This is a very good system. Look at that. Very, very good. Uh, you go ahead and survey all of these. Uh, the Vulcans apparently are going to be expanding quite a bit as well. The they are very them. overwhelming. They are losing friendliness, but we are in a coalition, so there's not going to be... Always walk cautiously under the ice. Let's see, are you still being... Yeah, you are. Ah. Your ships are small and unimpressive. Okay, still 931. That's not going to help us. Uh, the optical computer, nice. Let's see... Outpost construction, negative 10%, and the Hollow Theater. That is very, very good. And we have encountered uh, in Pollux uh, the Kappa Aliens, which is very interesting, I think. 
The Expanse, here we go again. The Enterprise has detected a Vulcan distress signal being transmitted from a nearby asteroid field. On inspection, the vessels... Uh, the vessel is heavily damaged and not responding to hails. Boarding the vessel, Captain John Van Archer leads the team to make contact with the crew and attempting to effect repair. Please don't kill him. Uh, let's investigate. No. No, 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 no. Oh, no. This is going to be... This, oh, you, this is actually that it is able... We could do this, but... Yeah. Oh well. Captain Jonathan Arches orders the Enterprise medical staff to exhaust all options to provide a cure to the psychota, um, psychotic Vulcans on, on the ship, while the away team reinforces their position in the control room. Nearly a day passes before a series of potential cures are provided, however all require testing. Selecting the most likely antidote, a medical team distributes the um, concoction Conction of Terillium D. Oh dear. A neutralizing agent through the life support. Oh yeah, they're going insane. Oh well, I think we will not be assisted by the Vulcans then. And with all of that done, I think we do want to start upgrading these ships. Because we know that there is going to be an attack. Uh, um. Do I have any need in our guy It is always on good to have allies or enemies. I don't know. Um, like they're friendly, okay? So they're also, imp we are both improving relations To find here. yourself, think for yourself. This is not going to work until we actually become equivalent instead of them being superior. So I'm kind of going to get our guy away from the Andorian Empire and just go into the, uh, the Kepas. And we got more research. That's nice. I like that. Are you going to be colonizing? Looks like it. Yes. Uh, you. Can you build this? Yes, you can. Go ahead and do so. Uh, while we order the construction, hopefully, soonish, of a new colonization ship. After, of course, upgrading all of these. Because I felt it was necessary to do that first. Yeah, you're already doing that. Let's continue and close that. And we have first contact. Let's keep at it. Um, it doesn't really give us anything. Spacefaring civilization. At least they are spacefaring. So we're not wasting our time. I do want to have this. Um, the economy is stabilized. That's good. Uh, we are in no need for any other buildings. Let's research this anomaly. Excellent. Keep going. We're getting that. I like those uh, those new options. I really do. Quite surprised about those, actually. Okay, are you in... Let's make you a sector. And influence... Do we have research in here? We do. We have Maxwell Forrest, who is very, very good and smart. And let's assign him a leader. There you go. Giving us more. And... Definitely going to be interesting. Decision cost available. Uh, the rest not so good, but I do like the additional research. So, the expanse. Months of investigation have led Captain Jonathan Archer to the Zindi mining colony, where a uh, chemo site, a key element used in the Zindi probe attack on Earth, is being produced in huge quantities. The miners appear to be surrounded by a number of small... The, oh, no, see, The mines appear to be surrounded by a small number of settlements. And we will... Lead an away team. And they... And we've played this so many times. You know, we're questioning the guy. And he's surprised that it was used on an attack on Earth. Who would have guessed that would actually happen? Well, they didn't, of course. Otherwise, it would never have happened. That goes. So, we now possess a fleet. That is 
definitely a lot stronger than we were. So badly. We are now in is it, is about it you? the same. Could you stop being so? We are not impressed. They they definitely are rude. What smells? Oh come on. Equivalent, so only speak boldly, or not at all. Could the Vulcans stop being the so? Must be They're still superior, so I don't want a fight with them. Uh, let's go ahead, build that mining station as well as research, and hopefully we can. Are you building something over here? Yeah, he's building a star base. Uh, this is storage, temperate. There's nothing over there, right? Okay, I want you to go survey over here, then survey that. So go ahead and go there. But let's uh, make sure that we have priorities. Uh, we can sell some of these, buy some more alloys, and start constructing this colonization ship for the fourth planet. And there is the expanse again. Intermittent of intermittent subspace readings have led Captain Jonathan Archer to a planet orbiting the small K-class star. Astonishingly, the um, the planet is inhabited by what appears uh, or to be several thousand humans and a small number of unknown aliens in five small towns. Architecture and farming methods. Because have they been kidnapped? Send a landing party. We are way too curious for our own good, I know. Okay, so he is going over there. So, Captain Jonathan Archers has spent several days infiltrating the primitive civilization. Learning that the humans in the colonies were brought to the world centuries ago by a race named the Skagarans. Who have subsequently over... Who were subsequently overthrown. <laughs> I love that. We humans overthrow quite a bit of empires, don't we? The captain is troubled to learn that the survivors uh, now live in conditions a little better than slaves. Oh. We are not the Federation yet. And uh, we will quietly try to intervene. And working with progressive elements in the largest settlement uh, of the North Star, Captain Jonathan Archer's attempts to persuade a local authority figure to improve uh, improve the conditions of these aliens. Let's... Um... Okay, it, it appears to be this is going to be a rather... There we go. We can... offer support in its development. I don't want to relocate them. I'm sure that's a good option, but yeah, not a huge fan of that. And there is first contact day, which is excellent. We gain a hundred unity. And let's continue. Is there anything we want to go for? And I don't want to, because this is just going to be costing my influence. We're not making that. Which is I was looking for a battle of wits. Somewhat annoying. I guess I will keep looking. Why would you not go? So the Vulcans really are... Are they friendly? What kind of species really are they at the moment? Yeah, they're militarist. That is annoying. I kind of need the event going with the Vulcans. Making them very peace-loving guys. And I'm sure that the Pajem incident with the Andorians will eventually happen. So we're not going to do that. Fleet has been upgraded. We are... Somewhat strong, and I like that. And the Starbase 3 is almost made, which is funny. That's called Starbase 3 since we only have Starbase 1. I'm sorry. <laughs> Starbase 2. That makes no sense. Uh, Causes Bell, Vulcan Hulk is now a... Okay, but well, they... We were still friends, right? First contact is pending. Let's keep it up. And let's see what we will discover in a few years. While we uh, try bettering our economy as well as research, because I feel like it's been a bit behind. There's the Endorians. So, having followed the Cuban side shipment to a nearby system, the Enterprise have encountered an Endorian vessel, the Kumari, under command of Sharon, the Imperial Guard. Sharon offers the Kumari's assistance of service to assist the Enterprise. 
insisting on sending an engineering team to upgrade and repair various systems. Oh my god. We're going to be so... Okay, we're going to be accepting this. Hopefully they won't stab us in the back. Accepting the Endorian's help pleases Sean, whose crew spends uh, the next few days upgrading various systems aboard the Enterprise. I don't hope this is the Enterprise. But uh, let's go. Please, don't knife my back. I would really, really hate that. Uh, we are building the colony ship, so that's good. Uh, yeah, here we go. They're rivals now. Damn. It is always good to have allies. They are receptive, so yeah. Oh, damn you, Vulcans. What have you done? A uh, ruler has been elected, which is now Wengpan. And let's pause here. Take a look. Okay. I like the monthly influence. Uh, well, the ship weapons damage. Okay, well, it is what it is. You are now in need of a new scientist, which is not going to be this uh, genius. Let's go ahead and take a look at our technology. Uh, even though this is absolutely amazing, I am going to replace you with a genius. And you will get your own ship. I know you must be proud. Do you still have a mission? Yes, you do. Survey that system, please. And you are heading over there. We'll have to save up. We have a migration treaty that has been ice. broken. That means that we will now get influence again when the next month uh, starts. Monthly gain, 0 0.00. What a sad, sad number. Shipboard activities. Uh, well, well, initiative. Uh, go to the ship, please. Research that. And how much are we now gaining? Yeah, we're making point eighteen again. And Always there walk is. Under the this ice. is going to be ugly, isn't it? Yeah, this is going to be ugly. Please don't go to war. Anything we can do? No, just the shipwide activities now. Oh, we do need that uh, additional uh, shipyard. I feel like the game is still lagging a bit. Oh, what a wonderful performance. How amazing. Now, are you going to be back at your chores again? You're heading over there. We could potentially just assist. This is the first one we'll get. And then we'll go for this one as well. It's tropical. Not a whole bunch of sectors there. How about here? So, happiness, food, and research. Interesting. I like that. This one we don't know yet. We'll, uh, we'll eventually find that out. Uh, I want to go with... Hmm. I should have checked. I uh, should have checked. Maybe we've gone. Should have gone for diplomacy. I didn't check. One of dumbass. Usually this one is uh, <laughs> is for the um, colonization, but it looks like it's not doing anything for us. Is there anything here that would be beneficial for us? Crop growth from immigration by five. Oh wow, look at that. Uh, Bruce is different. Um, influence cost by 50. Should have done that one. And it's not even when it's finished, right? It is right now. This one gave us... Okay, maybe it's not that bad. So we now got colony development speed plus 100. And we're going to take Diplomacy, because then we should be getting Influence again. Should have done that ages ago, I'm sorry for that. Uh, we'll definitely try to be more careful. Everything is cancelled with the Endorians, all because the Vulcans are absolute asses. So the Expands... Uh, wow, really, we don't have money for that. Well, we'll definitely get all of the options before. 
Long, le- uh, a long week spent hunting the expanse have paid off as the Enterprise has successfully captured a shuttle belonging to the Zindi, uh, primate scientist, uh, the Zindi, primate scientist leading the weapons project against Earth. So it's the Zindi primate, and the scientist is okay. That makes a lot more sense. A male named Dagra. The uh, Captain Jonathan Archer now decides how to take advantage of this. So we, of course, are going with the the money option, and we'll do that by selling this and prepare the deception and. Yeah, they'll, they'll make a mock-up design and they will act like he knows, but it is unknown. So, yeah, oh well, it is what it is. Okay, you, what are you doing here? Okay, you were the one that was pissed. And let's assist the research over there. How we are, are you feeling? not impressed. No, I know you're not. You never are. It is always good to have allies um, or enemies. Oh, uh, they're wary now. We can send someone to go in espionage. That's that could be interesting. Okay, what is this? So let's un let's pause here. Let's research that. And this was the final thing for this episode, guys. So um, internal readings of the Capital signal left envoy left envoy Shutra Hoffman bewitted. It seems many white noises, mainly white noises. It was only with our research experiments for your uh, detect and sounds so outstanding. Oh, these those guys, I bloody hate these guys. Oh, I really do. Uh, well, okay, we'll have to do it. Uh, we can sell a hundred of that. And... Give them more money. Yes, of course, they're hostile. I knew it. Bloody knew it. They're probably around this or this one. I'm not sure yet, but uh, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, you. Can I send you... Not yet, but once you're done, we'll send you immediately over there. Did we get the colony ship yet? No. Oh, no, and these guys hate even worse. I should really just destroy... No, we're, we're the Federation. We are the Federation. We can't just go around the galaxy killing everyone. And I said that was the final thing I was going to do in this episode. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.